Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the HALT Global Case Challenge. Uh, woo. So just to remind everybody, this is a competition about people with ideas, um, their passion, their persistence, and how they create a movement to make the world a better place. Ahmad Ashkar, a student at Halt International Business School, had the, had the idea to use the wisdom of the crowd, wisdom of MBA students, to try and solve a problem three years ago. His passion mobilized his classmates. His persistence attracted Chuck Kane, professors like Ron Jonesh and myself, to help him write the case challenge, design the competition. President Steve Hodges got behind it. Philip Hult supported it with a million dollars to back this thing up. And today what we have is a movement which looks like we can't stop it. It's incredible. So look around when you see this. Wow. Just wow. So this is all about ideas. It's all about passion. It's all about persistent. And, and then there's the big thing after that, getting things done. So poverty is unacceptable, especially today, with the knowledge, the resource, the creativity that we possess. Last year, we chose water as an issue. We worked with Gary White to help women, young girls, out of this situation all over the world. This year, we upped the game, and we said, let's work not just with one NGO, but let's work with three. So here's how we came to the conclusion of what three NGOs we had to work with. And the first one was, people need safe housing. So we chose to work with Habitat for Humanity. And Jonathan Reckford and his team have been wonderful in helping work through that. People need energy. So we work with Solar Aid, Steve Andrews and his team. And they've been wonderful in terms of helping us get to the stage. And then lastly, people need education. And this is really important. And we work with One Laptop a Child, with Rodrigo Arbadello and his team for, for this challenge. So I cannot thank each of the NGOs. Thank you very much for the time and commitment and issues they help in help write these cases that all the students have been working on. Um, as a result of working closely with these NGOs, I got a chance to discuss this with my son, Nirvan. And today, he recognizes that he sleeps every night safely in a home. He uses chemical energy and electrical energy to get things done, so he acts like a superman. And he, he's got an outstanding education opportunity in his life. And as a result, unlimited possibilities. This is not true for more than a billion people in the world. And so he recognizes this, you guys recognize this, and we've got to make sure we fix this problem. The students sitting over here today are the best of the best. I mean, where all of you guys are the best of the best. You guys have come through an incredible competition. <laughs> the countless hours, the many late nights, and I'm sure some of your grades were sacrificed along the way, and some of your professors were probably disappointed at the effort you put into their classes. But we are not disappointed. We are thankful for everything you've done. Okay? Um, and so your genuine desire to change has inspired all of us. It gives us hope that this world can be improved. And so whatever you guys do, keep on doing what you have been doing. Um, so one big thank you to all of you. And lastly, whenever we have a competition, it is, in order for it to be significant, we need witnesses, witnesses to guide our journey, to tell us that what we are doing are the right things. We have collected an exceptional list of judges. And these judges, we are hoping that their guidance and direction will give us better choices and, and higher probability of execution of what we have to do. These judges are. Don't worry. Um, we have Dr. Muhammad Yunus, who's the founder of Grameen Bank, Nobel laureate. <laughs> Michael Tresho, the chairman of Unilever. <laughs> Governor Mario Cuomo of New York.
Daryl Hammond, CEO of Kaboom. And of course, President Clinton, who will be joining us later on. We have also brought our families and friends over here, and they're all witnesses to this. One of the things we learned from the CGI, the Clinton Global Initiative, is when we make commitments publicly, it forces commitments in execution. And so what we are doing today by standing on the stage is making commitments to actually getting things done and making things real. So with that, I'm going to let the games begin. I just want to say, irrespective of whoever wins over here, you guys are all winners, and thank you very, very much for all your hard work. And so with that, let me introduce Ahmad Ashkar, the founder of the Hull Global Case Challenge, and a man we cannot stop. <laughs> 